Christmas ain't over yet. Now we over here at Guitar Center picking up the long, long-awaited baby grand piano right there for the new crib. back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be doing another unboxing. This is a long-awaited item that, again, I've waited for quite a while to go ahead and get my hands on. Luckily, we just moved into our new house, okay? We got everything that we wanted, um, and it's time to go ahead and add this bad boy on. Today, we bring to you guys the Williams Symphony Grand Piano. So, obviously we already opened up a little bit. Let's go ahead and dial it on in and see what we've got. This thing is kind of heavy. And I mean kind of, I mean very. I mean four grown Samoans, two big dollies, and a U-Haul truck. Okay? Maybe I'm exaggerating just a little bit, but it does feel like that. We are going to open this up and it's going to be double boxed, okay, you guys? Inside of here, we're going to be having our podiums, our stands, which are going to be having our three pedals that go along with this. Um, wow, okay, this is going to be heavier duty than I thought. So, these are going to be the legs, okay? They're going to be wrapped up very nice. We're going to have that nice classical um, gloss black finish, okay? That's what's going to be coming on the leg uh, for this particular one here. Oh, look at that. Two more legs. We're going to put those right on over here for safekeeping. <clears throat> of course, styrofoam. We're going to open this bad boy up here. And this is where we're going to have our podium with the three pedals. So this will be our sustainer pitches. Uh, shortcut holes and everything else like that. We're gonna have the nice gold bronze finishing color right there. Pretty good build quality. Um, this was on sale at Guitar Center for the uh, Christmas promo. We almost got away with the steel. And when I say a steel, you guys, I mean a steel. There was some glitch in the system that when they rang this bad boy up, it wasn't in their inventory. So when the guy manually added to their inventory, it came up $497. No, not $4,970. I mean $497. I say, you know what, my boy? That's not sounds like a good plan because you know we got a baby on the way, and maybe it's your baby shower gift or something else like that. Oh, finally. Come across the uh, instruction manual. Go ahead and build it up. Got your power cords here. Hey, cool. They even give you the wrenches and everything for the big sizes that you're gonna need. Torque down and everything else as well. Um, with the connectors, cable hiders, your hardware screws. Look at the size of these things. These things right here, so that's that's exciting right there. <laughs> that goes right here. Everybody remember our baby Athena? Say hi, Athena. <gasps> you swimming in the air. Oh, Athena loves to be on YouTube, don't you, Athena? Don't you, Athena? Okay, go back over there. All right, so anyway, <clears throat> um, got that part squared away. Then we're going to have, this is heavy, but I think this is the bench itself. Yes, I was correct. It's gonna be the bench right here. So you're gonna get the bench included, the leg, obviously the whole baby grand piano. Um, there. Okay, so we've got the pedals connected, the center and upper leg connected. Now all we have to do is attach 
pedal board supports, use the pedal board. Use pedal board support screw at each point. What's up? So we're just going to go ahead and put these little gold screws right up into there for the supports. Line them up the, off the line. We were highly comp I think that does whatever Tina wants to do, I guess. Including paint in the house, where she's been outside all day. They're cute. Okay, so after you get the leg support screwed in, the next step is going to be they should locate the two pedal, the two pedal feet to the bottom. Turn them counterclockwise until they are both firm contact with the floor surface. So they should sit a little bit higher. Yeah, it shows you right there. Then it lowers down. Attach all the cables and junctions and everything else where it says pedal right there. Power cord, which is right. Michelle says she wants to actually assemble the bench. No. So we're. I changed my mind. Uh, never mind. I thought she was going to do it. She wanted to. She was excited, but this thing is kind of heavy. So I guess we'll be assembling the bench tomorrow. Whenever I get around to it. Uh, this is kind of short. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So. That is done. We're going to use our amazing vacuum we got off Amazon to vacuum that section up right there. Uh, then, if I'm correct, all we have to do now is unplug everything. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, unplug everything, adjust the little knobs on the bottom so that way they're flush to the floor. Oh my. God. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, would you just look at it? Just. Since you wanted to be in it. <laughs> look at that. Okay, you guys. So. We've just finished setting up the piano. We're gonna go ahead and do a nice little sound test so that way you guys can hear what the quality of this amazing Williams Grand Symphony Digital Piano sounds like. Now I haven't played in quite a few years, so just bear with me, okay? And don't laugh, don't go straight to the comments and say, haha, you should return this back for a Casio, okay? That, that's not what we're here to try to do. This is just a nice, fun hobby to finally get back into it and let you guys know uh, just how this sounds. And if you're in the market of getting one, then you know, Go ahead and do that, but like I said, it's, it's a little rough, but uh, 
Yes, I've always wanted one of these bad boys here. Yeah, my thoughts on it. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Uh, the highs are very high. The lows could have a little bit more of an adjustment. Maybe that's just something I have to go through here on the settings to go ahead and figure out the fades or the pitches and the address, everything as such as that. Uh, but that's what I got for you guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start practicing and get uh, some more content out to you guys and everything as such. Uh, again, don't mind the hiccups. It was just a last minute, you know, Christmas Eve, Eve kind of night. As always guys, Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share, comment, okay, you guys? And uh, have a very Merry Christmas to you and your family. See you guys next time on A Jeep Come True. Thanks.